In this video, we're going to talk about sections, a feature that is added to Blazor in .NET 8. Blazor sections are used to control the content in a parent razor component from a child component. This is done by using two built-in razor components, the section outlet component and the section content component. Let's see how this works with an example. For this demo, I have the Blazor New Features .NET 8 solution opened up. Now let's say I want to create a heading on three pages the counter page, home page and the weather page. So let's go to the counter page in the client project and create a h3 heading with the text counter page. Let's copy this markup and paste it in the home page and replace the text with home page. Do the same thing for the weather page but this time replace the text with just weather. Now run the app and we see the heading on each page. Now let's say we want to display the heading somewhere outside the page. For example, in the top row here. But this div is present in the main layout component. So let's take an attempt to render the page text there. Copy this heading markup and go to the main layout component and inside the div with the class top row, replace the anchor tag with the copied markup. So paste the markup here. Now instead of the static weather text, let's use razor syntax to display the value of a field called page text. In the code block, create a private string field called page text. Now overwrite the lifecycle method on parameter set. And here we want to get the name of the page. So let's go to the top and inject a service called navigation manager and specify navigation and scroll down and create a local variable called page name and set it to navigation.toBase relative path and pass in navigation.uri. Using this value, we can set the page text like so. Now if we run the application, we see that in the top right corner, the current page name is displayed. But this approach has an issue and that is what if there are more pages and we want to display the name of the page in the top row div for each page. Then the if else logic will increase in order to accommodate more number of pages. So let's use blazer sections to solve this problem. Let's remove this code block. And here we can define a section outlet component. As you can see, it's present in Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.Components.Sections namespace. So we can add that to the imports file if we want. Then go back to the main layout component and add a section outlet component. As you can see here, the section outlet component accepts a parameter called section name. There's also a parameter called section ID. We cannot specify both. We can specify only one. Let's first see how section name works. So let's set the section name to page hyphen text. Now go to the counter page and add a section content component. And as you can see here, it accepts a section name parameter. Set it to the one that's set in the section outlet component, which is page hyphen text. Let's copy paste this markup. Now do the same thing for the home page specify home page and lastly for the weather component we just specify weather. Let's run the app. We can see our page text getting updated. Now one point to note is that multiple section outlet components can't have the same section name or section ID. Also if multiple section content components have the same section name then the matching section outlet component renders the content of the last rendered section content. So if we don't want other section content components to match the name of a section outlet, then we can use the section ID parameter to identify a section. And for using this, an object reference is needed. So go to the main layout component and define an internal static object field called page text and instantiate it. Now scroll to the top and replace the section name parameter with section ID and set it to the page text field. Go to the counter page and replace the section name parameter with section ID 
and we need to set it to the same field that's present in main layout. So import the namespace and set it to main layout dot page text. Again, you can add the using directive in the imports file if you want. And do the same thing for the home page and the weather page. And run the app. We can see that the name of the current page is displayed. And that's the Blazor sections feature. Remember, it's used to control content in a parent component from a child component. Next, we'll see how to render Razor components outside the context of an HTTP request or ASP.NET Core.